1048, our severe weather team coverage continues now. Here's a live look. This is 95 at Thurber's Avenue in Providence. I mean, those conditions are just so nasty. You cannot see a stitch of pavement out there. See some of those uh, plow trucks out there, though, hard at work. We have so many crews across the state trying to keep us all safe in those roadways as clear as they can, but we've got those intense snow bands, so it's kind of hard to do that. Yeah, and a meteorologist TJ Del Santo just tweeting, Tony, that uh, the blizzard criteria so far has been met in places like Block Island and Newport, and I imagine those won't be the only two locations. Yeah, you know, just based on, you know, the wind reports we're getting, looking at some of these visuals, our, our cameras, you know, many locations uh, making that criteria, and, and we're going to show you some pretty amazing video uh, down in situate, uh, the, the visibility is nearly zero. Uh, new snowfall totals coming in now. Taunton uh, checking in at 10 inches. Barville at 9, but that was about an hour ago. It's been snowing heavily there. Portsmouth, uh, Norton, uh, 7 and a half, 8 and a half inches of snow, close to 7 in Bristol. I just saw a picture uh, in the Danielson, Connecticut, which is only one mile away from Foster on the Connecticut Rhode Island border and about a foot of snow there and it's still snowing hard as we take a look at, you know, what we're expecting generally statewide is a range of anywhere from 15 uh, to uh, 24 inches. Now, not every backyard is going to get 24, but that possibility is there. But I mean, some locations are closing in on 15 right now with near blizzard conditions. At times it is so difficult to measure the snow, you know, with sticking in the in the ground is just the wind is blowing it all around. So to get measurements is, is a little difficult. But you know, as TJ had mentioned about, you know, meeting uh, blizzard criteria, you need three uh, items for for three consecutive hours. And that is strong winds check. We've seen that in some actually many locations, but specifically sustained or frequently gusts the 35 plus miles per hour, poor visibility, and I'll show you these visibilities in just a second. And of course, snow um, reducing the visibility, blowing snow. It's not, I, believe it or not, it's not based on a blizzard criteria on, on the amount of snow but rather poor visibility due to snow, whiteout conditions. And we've seen that in many areas. So in Narragansett, heavy snow, strong wind continues. I think I had that situate to camera set up. Yeah, I mean, this is just... I mean, it is like probably 30 feet. Let me step out of the way. Now, normally this is the intersection of Route 101 and, and 102, and, and you can barely see the road uh, right in here. So the, the wind is just howling here, blowing the snow sideways. The temperatures are bitterly cold, and that's why this area is in red. Uh, the blizzard warning continues now through uh, officially till midnight tonight, though I do feel as though later in the evening the intensity of the snow will be easing up, but what's on the ground will continue to blow and drift as, as the wind will remain strong even after the snow ends. So the wind gusts have been impressive. I mean, now we're gusting to 70 on Nantucket. We've had gusts to 80 to 90. That's been confined to the outer Cape. And then elsewhere, you know, gusts 40, uh, 45 to 55 miles per hour. You look at the temperatures, which are quite cold combined with the wind and the wind chills are running at near zero or below in some areas. So this band of dark blue, which is moderate to heavy snow, continues for several more hours, at least through mid-afternoon. The storm itself is wrapping up south and east of Cape Cod, intensifying rapidly, throwing back that heavy snow and strong wind. That'll head up towards Halifax, Nova Scotia tonight, and it will take this snow shield with it. So when we take a look at the forecast, Watch the low intensify and track northeast, but notice as late as three in the afternoon, we still got a decent band of snow and wind on top of us by mid afternoon. And then look at the back edge. We start to slowly pull that away. So by early evening, the intensity of the snow is letting up. The wind is still strong. And then later in the evening during the overnight storm pulls away, uh, snow shuts down and things start to partially clear by midnight tonight. Getting real close here. We take a look at the forecast. Uh, the remainder of the morning and into the uh, mid afternoon hours, these darker blues, that's three o'clock, uh, still moderate to heavy snow. Early evening, six o'clock. Now, see how it's starting to break apart? And then whoosh, it's gone. 11 o'clock midnight, skies are partially clearing out. Wind still gusty. Look at the temperatures. Single digits, wind chills below zero. Areas in red along the coastline gusting 60 to 70 miles per hour, but we've had much higher gusts on the outer Cape to 80 plus miles per hour. Uh, things improving though. Uh, by late tonight and by Sunday, it's a good day to dig out. Sunshine, cold, windy, and dry. Looking at temperatures in the mid-20s. WPRI.com to stay ahead of the storm. Live interactive radar and weather blogs. Tony.